my name is Tanya if you don't know me and welcome to my vlog this is gonna be really chill and at the same time I guess productive vlog <laughs> because I have a lot of things to do but still I want to just chill and relax so I don't even know how to name this video <laughs> I woke up really late today at 8 30 in the morning and this is really late for me because usually I will wake up at 6 uh, slash 7 a.m. but yeah I was really tired that was a really hard working week because I had to learn a lot of things I had to go to the office on Thursday and that was that was really exhausting because I spent like three hours just for accommodation so today on Saturday and tomorrow I actually have to first of all call my grandma and call my parents and since my parents live in different cities it's gonna be like two different calls and I usually spend maybe like an hour talking to them also I need to clean my apartment because it's a little bit of a mess because as I already mentioned I worked hard this week and didn't have time to to tidy up also I need to go shopping uh, grocery shopping and also I need to get I need to buy some clothes for me for winter I want to go to the gym tomorrow as well if I have time I really want to go ice skating because I didn't do this since December or January last year we have ice skating rink just nearby so I don't know why I don't go there often but maybe today I will go there so that's it let's go get some breakfast all right so this is my breakfast it's just basically a fruit bowl it has orange pear and banana and some seeds and i'm going to top it with this yogurt my favorite one european style whole milk yogurt and i guess no coffee today because i slept really really well surprisingly Алло, привет. О, ничего себе. Давно не виделись. Угу. back from ice skating ring and, and from Paris baguette I also spent an hour there because I was talking to my mom <laughs> and it's always like a long talk now I'm having a little snack and we'll watch Korean drama for maybe 20 minutes and then we'll start cleaning the apartment so that's the plan mm.
washing machine is working drying machine is working i cleaned my desk i swapped summer shoes with winter and uh, fall shoes because it's time yes also vacuumed floors uh, and carpets and cleaned floors and my husband is cleaning the kitchen right now and that is it i'm a little bit tired but i just remembered that i actually need to change my iphone finally because i got the new one i got the the latest one finally i actually ordered it uh, from Verizon on September 10th and I just got it on October 20 which is ridiculous but yeah finally I got it and since this was my first iPhone that I got here in the USA and it's uh, iPhone 11 I'm not sure how long will it take to back up all the data and to move it to the new phone but yeah I guess I will have to do this today and since I'm doing it, I actually remembered that I wanted to create a video about some useful apps that I uh, use so almost every day and I thought why not to show it today in this vlog just to make it a little bit more useful so yeah, here is 14 apps that I use almost like every day or just the apps that I cannot live without they are all about productivity like women's health creativity and planning and of course I will not mention Instagram TikTok or some social media and messengers that I use all the time because it's obvious yeah I will just share some other apps with you and uh, first of all I always use reminders and notes native reminders and notes on apple on iphone because i find it really really convenient to create different kind of lists in my reminders for example i have my beauty beauty routine list for morning and for evening that's how i stay consistent also i have my grocery list in the reminders app and i use notes for my workouts and for like uh, some kind of i don't know ideas that i have uh, throughout the day uh, also all of my recipes are there i hope i will not lose them the next app that i love is pinterest of course and I use it for inspiration when I don't know what to cook, when I don't know what to wear, when I want to decorate my place or decorate dishes or if I want to create some photos for my Instagram, for example, and I don't have ideas. So this is uh, like a really good app for this. Another app that I use is called Feed Preview. And I use it for planning Insta posts because sometimes I have a lot of photos that I want to post but I don't want to do this uh, like in one day next app is Canva and it's much much more convenient to use a web version but sometimes I'm just lazy to open my laptop and I use it on my iPhone which is also good and I use it for creating sometimes for creating insta stories or some kind of bucket lists uh, that I want to print after all also I use it for uh, presentations that I need to do for my uh, study or for work and I always use it for creating YouTube thumbnails the next two apps uh, are VN and CapCut I use them for video editing for editing my photos I only use Lightroom I had a lot of photo editing apps before but now I almost don't edit my photo just sometimes if I want to I don't know, make my photo more bright, brighter or more colorful, I would use Lightroom for this. Also, I have app for managing my finances, but it's not for, like, you know, for spending less. It's just to understand my spending behavior more, to be more, you know, mindful, mindful and cautious about how I spend my money. Another app that I always use is Flow. I think that a lot of, a lot of you know about this. But usually, like, I don't track everything there, I just track uh, my symptoms sometimes and just the period dates, that's it. Next one is Headspace, this is a really great app for meditation. Next one is Yuka, this app helps you to check whether the product that you're buying is good for your health or if it's 
if it contains some kind of uh, additives that are like hazardous for your health. Next one is Duolingo. I used to learn Spanish there and also I used to learn German in this app. Yeah, and it's really convenient if you want to have to know just some basic phrases, basic words. I think this is a great app, but of course if you want to speak like a native speaker or have or to have like an advanced level, uh, it's probably not for you. The next thing is Apple Wallet and I just recently realized that it's not only for uh, credit or debit cards that you actually can add there some other I don't know some stores cards and my fitness pass for different things as well which is really cool and the last one is Nike Run Club I know that there are a lot of apps that track your like running running process I don't know your results but I really like Nike Run Club because it's simple and I'm not super into running so it's enough for me now it's 4 p.m. I'm gonna go to Target because I need to buy new sport clothes and also I really want to buy a white nail polish because I want to do French nails Actually, I didn't get anything at Target, so I came home and before we get to the restaurant to eat dinner, I'm gonna dance. <laughs> I bought a new course. It's a Russian dancer and she created like this training video course and it's supposed to make you more like flexible uh, in terms of dancing. Yeah, if that makes sense. There are exercises for isolation of your shoulders, your, I don't know, hips, your head and how to dance with different parts of your body and I'm gonna do neck, shoulders and chest exercises today Amplitude получается намного меньше Amplitude and we came back home from dinner and I watched Korean drama again and, and also I had uh, two Twix ice creams, ice cream bars. Now I'm finishing drinking my tea and probably will go to sleep already. Maybe we'll shower, do some uh, hair care routine and play mask and I guess that's it. See you tomorrow morning. on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave I just spent 30 minutes on my phone, which is not great, but that's the reality. And I'm gonna do some makeup. Let's start with SPF. Next step is a little bit of concealer, usually just under my eyes, in case if I have these circles under them and here as well because I have some pimples. Next is my eyebrow gel a little bit of highlighter a little bit of vaseline vaseline for my lips i will definitely need to brush them <laughs> because i didn't brush them yesterday after washing my hair and it is a mess
on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave mm -hmm. It's easier back from the gym, went to Target again, got some Altoids. <laughs> I also got this Vichy moisturizing cream because I ran out of my moisturizing cream. Also, I ran out of uh, Cleans and Micellar Cleansing Water to remove my makeup. Got myself a white nail polish and also I got this different gel. I've never tried it but i really want to do this because i've heard a lot of great reviews about this gel so hopefully it will help me get rid of um this little acne or i don't know if it's acne or not but definitely something that i want to try and heal and i hope this will help me um that's it now we will go to the park we'll take some food with us and we'll have a little picnic steps on my watch and that's not it because we also need to go get some groceries so it's gonna be like maybe 17,000 steps thousand steps today so it's a very active weekend but for now I just wanna relax and watch some movie or cartoon I don't know and also we will eat this red baron brick oven crust cheese trio pizza yeah not the healthiest choice but we're gonna add some tomatoes so it's not that bad and I really love this pizza so So our little grocery haul, we actually had some fruits and veggies and greens already so it's not everything that we're gonna eat this week so we got some bread, mozzarella, avocado oil, mushrooms, my favorite baby carrots, this is the uh, tomato juice that my husband really loves and I actually love it too, some greens, herbs, cucumbers, berries, yogurt, a lot of chicken and meat, also got some garbanzo beans, apples, cheese, also got these crepes, crepes. I actually can cook them myself, but why not to try this? And it's quick and easy to cook, so we will try this. Also got this big pumpkin, we will make pumpkin soup puree. Also got whipping cream, half and half, and the new thing that I found, it's called farmer cheese. And I feel like it's something similar to the cottage cheese that we have in, in Russia. Hopefully it will taste the same. Hi, I almost forgot to film the outro for this video because we watched the movie, then we had some tea with ice cream. <laughs> And then I actually finished setting up my new iPhone, which is really great. I'm really happy about it. I still need to connect my AirPods and Apple Watch, but I will do this tomorrow. And I'm really, really tired. I am actually half asleep right now. Now I'm going to finish skincare. I already used toner and not, not toner, actually just face uh, mist. Also I used Hyaluronic Acid by Ordinary and now I am applying this new moisturizing cream by Vichy that I just got. I'm not sure if it will be good or not. The texture feels kinda 
weird for me just too thick maybe but i guess that's okay for winter and this is it for today i hope you liked my video i hope you enjoyed this productive slash chilly slash active slash relaxing weekend and now a whole working week is ahead of me so i'm gonna go have some sleep right now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video